So, good day and welcome to another Mr. James Accounting tutorial. Might be the last for this year. And uh, today we are going to look at the valuation of inventory using FIFO, LIFO, and uh, AVCO. Let's get right into it. So we have before us here a question from 2017 paper 2 and uh, it deals with the valuation of inventory although it only asks for the first in first out and the average course we will use it also to illustrate life for the last in first out method okay we are given some purchases as well as um, disbursements and uh, there's a balance brought forward and there are different prices so before we get into valuing the clothes and stuff we should be doing some workings so let's get into the workings Right, I have done the work it's here already. On this side here we will have the all the purchases. I have arranged them here. The amount, the price, and the total cost. And then on this side here have the disbursement. Each time you send goods or raw materials to your factory and when you add them down, you will get the total amount that was disbursed. That's the word they use in there, but it's the same word for issued. And on this side here, we have all the purchases. So we have how much we have purchased here and the cost. Now to find out what the closing stock is, we will take the amount that we purchased here, which includes the balance brought forward because that was purchased too and uh, we will mm -hmm. minus the amount that was issued or disbursed that's 3000 mm -hmm. minus 2500 and we get the closing stock as being 500 units mm -hmm. so this is the amount that we are going to value and from time to time feel free to stop the video and you're going to come back and look at these figures to see what i'm talking about okay if you need to okay so let's get into the five four okay final value in the closing stuff using five four we have to look at how much makes up the 500 where which one of the purchases it came from if we are using first in first out what this would tell us is that the uh, stuff on hand that remain at the end would be the last set of goods that comes in and if there's not enough there then we go to the second to last and then so on moving up so the 500 that we have any closing stuff is made up of the last 300 or go up at 54 and the 200 notice the 3 and the 200 will give us 500 at 50 Okay, so when we add these two together, we'll get the value of the closing stock. Now, you should feel free to pause the video here and go back uh, and look at, see where the 300 is coming from or where the 200 is coming from. That the, the amount that made up the 500, so you better understand how we got this price here. Okay. <laughs> and multiply these back out just in case I made any mistakes. Alright, so the value of the 500 units in closing stock, if we use in FIFO, would be 26,200. Okay, next we will look at the AVCOM or average cost method of valuing the closing stock 
for our crew although the cost of the stock is the same what we are doing here now is we are valuing it using a different method so you can wind up with the cost of the stock the same 500 stock mean with a different amount okay so the formula you use for average cost is average it's a normal average average cost per unit and it's mm -hmm. The total cost of the stock divided by the number of units purchased. All right, this will give us the average cost per unit, and then we take it and we multiply it by the number of units that we have in the closing stock. Okay, so now you could feel free to pause the video and go back and look at these figures here. The amount of units we purchased was 3,000. And uh, the total cost of it was 150,300. And then we divide it, we get the unit cost would be 50,010. And uh, we take that 50,010 and we multiply by the 500 in the closing stuff. And we get 25,050. Notice this figure is different from the figure that you get for 54. Okay, so let's take a look at LIFO. Okay, looking at the LIFO value of the stock, the closing stock would be from those at the earliest prices. Right, for key purposes, that's how we value it. We don't you normally go through and um, check to see which one is the last in the place out or anything we just take the earliest prices and this so the, in this case the earliest prices comes from the balance brought forward and only if they didn't have if you didn't have enough in the balance brought forward then you would move to the other item right in this case the balance brought forward has 800 in it so 500 of those is assumed to be the 500 that remain in stock at the end of the month. So we take that and we multiply it by the 53, that is the earliest prices, and we get 26,500. Okay, so uh, this would be the value of the stock using live food. Now, um, this is only LIFO is an assumption. It not, does not mean that you are going to sell your last set of stock that you purchase first. Nobody does that in practice, right? So it's just an assumption for valuing the stock. So you can get it at more, um, so you can get your stock at earlier prices and your cost of goods sold at later prices okay so what we do with these figures afterwards is we compare them with one another and you will need to understand what is happening when you look at the prices of the goods uh, whether they are increasing or decreasing and what method you are using to value your stuff right so the next thing you're going to learn is how to use our closing the closing stock in the trading account and know the differences in the gross profit between lifo fifo and afco valuations okay but that is the subject of our next video this will bring us to the end of this presentation and uh, Hope you find it helpful. It's one of those topics that is said would be coming in your exam. But, um, evaluation of the raw materials. And uh, hope you find it helpful. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, you can give it a thumbs down. And uh, uh, this might be the final video before your exam. And, uh, 
those of you who are taking the exam on Friday, I would appreciate it if you would drop me a note and let me know when the results come out, what grade you got. Okay? Till then, see you next time. Keep in touch. Don't Please don't withdraw your subscription. Okay? Mm -hmm.